Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to Saturday tutorial in Revit Global Knowledge. Today I'm going to share with you how to make cost estimates in Revit. Okay, so basically most of my tutorial on my channel, I haven't made a tutorial about cost estimate yet. So today I'm so excited to share knowledge about cost estimate. I think this tutorial I will make it just a quick tutorial and I hope this tutorial and hope you guys to find out what kind of cost estimate that you want to find out in your Revit profile and basically for the cost estimate probably for QS is a quantity surveyor but as an architect or structural engineer we got make our model in our Revit already why we not make our quality take out or schedule or cost estimate in our Revit model because we got all function in our auto Revit already okay so anyway before i get things start i would like to ask you and this here we are in Revit architecture template is our Revit sample so what i'm going to do first in order to make our cost estimate first thing we got two way to make our custom made you can go to your project browser over there then you just throw it down finding until your schedule and quantity and right click on your closer and you can strike away new schedule and quantity or you can get another way by go to your view over there then take a look on your schedule there you just drop down on the small arrow there then select schedule and quantity once you select that, there will be pop up another new schedule. You need to choose your exact category first in order to achieve another function in your Revit. So in the case, we will be finding for curtain panel. So I just click away select our curtain panel here. Then I just hit OK. Once I select that, Revit will be showing up another schedule and property. So here is our available form and schedule form. So you need to add in first before you create your in order to make your excess schedule and quantity take off or cost estimate. So I'm going to select what I want into my project first. First thing I want to find in for family and tie. Then I want to find tie also. I will straight away go down finding for tie and I want to find weak and high also because our work lab panel we got weak and high so we go until until character W here is a weak then we find our high here at another one and of course we need to add our cost also and the last one I think we need to add area also because we need the total area I will finding area here then add in here again once you done that, you need to take a look every family here before you click OK because I don't want to repeat process again and again. But now I want to create formula inside my schedule there. First thing I need to go to my F8 there is a add calculate parameter formula so I can select here. Then we need to provide a name first. I will give it for total area. For discipline, I will make it for common and for time, we just change it to area because our calculate values is based on area. Then for formula, I will make it for area, time, total area is, okay, so weeks, time, highs, I think, like this. Then I can slash number one, it's okay. Again, I need to create another formula there and here I'm going to make it for total cost Total cost then change our tie to our currency Then I will change it to formula just make it for Area then time hours cost Like this then I can it's okay Sorry, as you can see here we could not directly like this because we need to add another last and number one fourth because we need we need in order to make that we need to add it because we would also know only this function so I can it's okay once I done that I can strike away hit okay as you can see here now I got my area total area and total cost and cost and 
our family let's me adjustment our family first i i take a look on my property panel go to our filter over there like it is then i will go to sorting and grouping make it for family tie and i want to turn on for heading also and make it for blind in and great that as well take a look on my formatting i want all my column there is alignment on center so i can select all like this control key change from alignment to center here and for total area and total cost i will make it for calculate in total area also calculate in total total area calculate in total also and i can it's okay once i done that i can go to my 3d over there then select my panel here because we need to add cost then go to edit type i can straight away add cost from here or or either i go to my panel schedule then i straight away add cost from here we got two way to make that but it's a cost estimate i prefer add in here i don't want to add in into my panel there because my panel there i want a finalized project project when i add in so i will take away add here i will consider my casting for our curtain glass panel with aluminium mullion i will make it for 65 because in my country the average about 50 to 65 dollars so i can hit enter one i select that and it will be showing up here so i can hit ok as you can see here but we haven't add our currency yet so by add that i can go to my 3d again then un for project unit then i take a look on our currency there it's like my currency change it to our dollar here it's a currency symbol then for this one i just make it two then again it's okay it's okay again take a look on my panel schedule as you can see here turn on two dollar but I will give you another trip before we finish our tutorial let's go back to our 3d there then wt on my keyboard for window tile let's say i want to see what panel is calculating in my schedule there i will select for the first one select here then as you can see here we will got some highlighting for our workout panel i can turn around like this where is this guy over there as you can see here our first glass panel is over there it's highlighting and you can take a look on your parameter also it's 1.44 meter time high is 2.96 meter and you can take a look here as you can see here it's a correct portion and in some case we will have one show our width and length also because we got some problem about that but of course the width will be calculated for you also because I think the step is not rectangular or square that's why we haven't saw the width and length yet because hardly to calculate thing so let's straight away like our one meter we want to see what is a one square meter I just like my one square meter here is it correct yep then I can zoom out let's see where is our one square meter okay as you can see here it's over there and here I think it's 3 meter is near B here as you can see here now you know where is your location is your panel with your schedule already that's how you can make your code estimate a fast as can in your project in your Revit and of course if you want to make another function about schedule or cost estimate or material checkout you just follow my step a previous step is the uh, same as previous step but anyways i think this tutorial is pretty much already okay if you want me to create another tutorial about cost estimate leave a comment below i will take a look and make a tutorial about that if i got time about your request okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish and this is just a quick tutorial and quick concept for you guys understanding what is cost estimate and with how could we use that and make it more realistic in our revit okay guys thank you for watching and i see you for another tutorial in revit and have a nice weekend
थैंक यू